Hi everyone, this is Robbie, otherwise known as Fat Girl vs. World. I wanted to uh, record a little video here at my gym. Um, my gym, it's basic stuff. You got some, got some weights and rowing machine over there and got some treadmill-y looking things and got ellipticals. Um, it's small, it looks like it came from the 1970s, but you know what? It's free and it does the trick. Um, non-scale victory today is I ran two and a half miles in 23 minutes and 16 seconds. I'll pat myself on the back. Um, oh, my body media, my sweat stain. Yeah. And, uh, notice when I go to the gym, I do not wear makeup. So you got all sorts of, yeah, stuff going on here. So uh, I just kind of wanted to let you all know and, um, one that I'm thinking about you too, that while I was running and kind of like, you know, running and feeling like I was going to die, I remembered something that my friend Emily, hi Emily, said to me uh, a few years ago, or could have been less than a year, who knows, time passes so quickly, um, that you can do anything for 40 seconds. Uh, and I would remember that when I was on the elliptical and it kicked into high gear and I'm going, oh God, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Well, obviously I never did die, but I had to convince myself that, yeah, I could do anything for 30 seconds or I could do anything for a minute. And sometimes I have to remember, okay, I can do anything, not even putting a time limit on it. But if I say, you know what, I'm really going to run this mile. I'm going to run the mile, and if I'm going to run two miles, I'm really going to run two miles. I love this like little hair thing going on, by the way. Um, I can do it, and it's the mental part that's the hard part because, one, you know, my bad back, and so I'm so overcoming the fear of, oh, my God, this could be my very last workout if I do something wrong. And there's also the mental hurdle of, well, I've never done this before. Can I really do it? What does it mean if I can do it? Does it mean I have to push myself more? Yes, you do. Um, but eventually you get over it and you realize that you can do anything. So that's the takeaway. I um, hope everyone's doing well and I hope to record more videos soon now that, um, well, now that I really don't fucking care, pardon the language, that I don't care about what I look like on here. So full body shot, hold on. Angle this down. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I like to wear long shorts when I run because it stops with the chafing. Uh, a little twirly. Um, again, like I said, always wearing my body media fit. It tracks all my calories. Uh, I'm not really going to show you here, but between legs is a little bit of body glide, so I don't chafe. Um, but I think the most important thing you can ever wear to the gym is a smile um, because this is not punishment. This is you telling your body you are going to do great things. Um, so I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Robbie again, um, otherwise known as Fat Girl vs. World. And oh my goodness, I watched the video that I just recorded and the whole little twirly thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just showed the whole world, for all intents and purposes, my fat, my stomach fat, my back fat, you name it, Ooh, fungo wings, showed the whole world. But um, I try to put it in sort of context with what I've been doing with February and the February Going the Distance Challenge about finding a way to love yourself, even, even when you're having like a really crappy day to know that there's still something lovable and redeeming about you. And so maybe this is my challenge for today after watching that video is to remember that, okay, so I got uh, the stomach fat, I got, got some little back fat, I got a little bit of this too, but all of that will fuel what I do right over there. And what I do over there is kind of badass. I mean, I've run 10 miles on one of them. I've run a half marathon on the, the one right in the middle. Um, I call her my, uh, my evil mistress. Um, so I, I think that part of my challenge for posting this video is not editing it, not re-recording it, 
um, showing you who I am, lumps, warts, bumps, everything, um, and being able to say I'm okay with it. Because at the end of the day, I judge myself not necessarily by how I look. I mean, I got stuff going on here, over here. Uh, I know I'm going to be the most critical of my own self, but if I can judge myself by what I do over here or just in the gym uh, in general, then I think I'll be okay.